Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Art Jarrett. All right, good morning to you. Let's take it back to uh, your radar here. Rainfall is moving out of California slowly but surely. Area of low pressure working into the desert southwest as well. In fact, you can see uh, all that moisture starting to leave the Sierra Nevadas, getting through much of the San Joaquin, and we're going dry. We have the clouds, though, because of it with cooler air funneling down along the coast. High pressure building up, and that'll come in over the top of us, and we'll gradually warm up. Well, the coastal area is not so much as the inland side, but you're going to see, as you can see, this area of low pressure getting out of the state. You're going to see that rainfall and cloud cover assuming with it there, and mostly the mid-high level clouds, low-level clouds back to the coast as they develop uh, with that cold California coastline. And as I say that, we're going to go right into your forecast and show you what's going to happen for you. And your high is mostly upper 50s, low 60s as you get from, uh, say, Monterey to San Francisco. But we're going to hold on to some 70s pocketed in there as well, getting into the mid-70s for some of our warmer locations for the inland area and even closer to 70s getting into uh, Santa Cruz as well. So 61 to 74 for the coast, mostly sunny skies to partly cloudy skies. Eventually we'll see in some locations, maybe a little added sunshine for Santa Cruz, but we'll hold on to the clouds uh, over by Monterey on the peninsula. Cool to fairly mild temperatures and breezy winds. Because of that, we'll see uh, winds 15 to 20 miles per hour. On the inland side, we'll go 65 to 76 degrees, partly to mostly sunny skies. And then we'll get to those mild temperatures on the inland side. Here they are, 60s, 70s. And in fact, we'll get into some numbers around Half Moon Bay getting into some low 60s, but the uh, Boulder Creek area all the way over to Bonnie Dune getting to Felton and, and Scotts Valley holding on to the mid 70s. Then we'll take that and do some downsloping winds to warm up Santa Cruz and then we'll cool you off once we get away from those downsloping winds. So we'll see mid to upper 60s on most of the other locations by the beaches in Santa Cruz County. Then we get into Watsonville 67 degrees and extending into some 70s once you get into the Santa Clara Valley. Now Prunedale, Moss Landing, you guys are in the mid 60s holding on to the mid to upper 60s once you get into Salinas and some of the locations there by Toro Park, Corral de Tierra. You'll see those 70s start to roll in there as you get down to the Salinas Valley to the south. And how about the Monterey Peninsula? Widespread 60s there, getting to 67 for Carmel Valley, 66 in Big Sur. Other locations south of Carmel Valley will also see the upper 60s to low 70s. Then tonight, 40 to 52 degrees, coastal clouds, patchy fog inland, and moderate temperatures. So this is what we're looking at. We get into your forecast for the next few days, and I told you the coast, well, gradually warming up a bit. You'll see similar conditions somewhat tomorrow, but mostly the areas like Monterey, PG, they'll warm up a couple of degrees and everybody else in Santa Cruz will stay the same. Then we'll warm you up even more for Friday and then we'll hold out through the weekend and then start to cool it down little by little, but well above seasonal average temperatures this weekend. Yeah, it's finally looking like spring. <laughs> looking great, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Art. Mm -hmm.